D grade 11 students. This is another revision lesson, module 10. Get your books ready. Today, we are going to revise conditionals, zero conditional, first conditional, and second conditional, and we are going to revise question tags. Now, open your workbooks, page 131, exercise A. This exercise is about conditionals 0, 1, and 2. Pause the video, take your time to answer the questions, and come back to check your answers. Number one, we have if here and would. So this is second conditional, so have becomes had. Here we have when, and the verb in the present simple, so this is zero conditional, play becomes play, present simple. If I wear you, this is second conditional, so join becomes would join. Now let's go to the second dialogue. In this sentence here, we have if and might. So this is first conditional, but let's not that not stop. To put it in to put it in the negative, we use don't stop. In this sentence, we have if, and we have can here. So this is first conditional, but it should also be in the negative. So we use the word don't, don't avoid. In this sentence here, this is if. And this is the present simple, so this is first conditional, we have won't stay. Now, go to your student's book, page 145, exercise C. Your task is to rewrite the sentences using conditional sentences. This means we have to decide which conditional, which type of conditionals we are going to use, zero, first or second and then rewrite the sentences using the word if or unless pause the video take your time to answer the exercise and come back to check your answers the first sentence the two verbs are in the future so we are going to use first conditionals you are right so to use first conditionals the answer is, if I finish work early tomorrow, I'll make dinner. Number two, the two verbs here, won't, don't have, are in the present. If the verbs are in the present, which conditional do we use? Which type? One or two? Excellent. It's conditional. Two. So the answer is, if I had money, I would buy a new car. Number three, the verbs lives and don't see are both in the present. So again, it's conditional too. So the answer is, if my cousin didn't live so far away, I would see her every day or very often. Now let's go to number four. In number four again, we have the present verb here, so it's conditional to again. So the answer, if I told me what happened, I would or could help you. Number five, Mark doesn't eat breakfast, present. That's why he is so hungry, again present, so it's conditional to. So the answer is, if Mark ate breakfast, he wouldn't be so hungry at lunchtime. So we are still on page 154, exercise D. In this exercise, your task is to complete the dialogue with correct question tags. And remember, for negative statements, we use positive question tags, and for positive statements, we use negative question tags. Pause the video, take your time to answer the questions, and come back to check your answers. So for the first question tag, the sentence says, the statement says, you don't have, 
so the question tag is do you second question tag the statement says you can join me so the question tag should be in the negative can't you here this statement let's remember that let's whenever you see let's the statement is let's meet up when i get off so the question tag is shall we and here we have call me this is the imperative and for imperatives we use will you whether the imperatives are in the negative or in the affirmative jack said he would be late so we have jack said here the question tag is didn't he here we have it's and the question tag isn't it the statement here says it's it's been it means it has been so the question tag hasn't it and the last one she loves it so the question tag is doesn't she this is the end of our lesson today for homework please log on to your team's corner and do the homework and the quizzes assigned to you by your class teacher thank you for listening best wishes and stay safe